If you're applying for Medicaid benefits for home health care or for nursing home care, you're wondering just how long it will take to receive those benefits. The time frame for receiving the benefits will be affected by two important factors. First, your medical necessity. Second, your financial eligibility. As to the first, talk to your doctor about your medical necessities and whether you need help with your ADLs. That's your activities of daily living, like bathing, dressing, toileting, transferring, eating, taking medication, and other fundamental activities. Once your doctor confirms your need for help with one or more of these ADLs, then you and your family can make a plan that focuses on keeping you in your home for just as long as possible. If it's not possible, then you may qualify for nursing home care. Now, once your doctor confirms your medical eligibility, you move forward with the financial portion and making your application to the state of Texas, the Department of Aging and Disability Services. Once you file your 26-page application with the state, the caseworker has 45 days to either deny, approve, or ask for more information. Often, there are certain financial issues that can be easily resolved to all for the Medicaid benefits to begin to flow. But the state caseworker can often make mistakes that cause unnecessary delays and wrongful denials. The second factor that affects how long it takes to receive Medicaid benefits is your financial eligibility. In other words, the income you receive each month as well as the resources you have, including things of value that you own like your home or car. I've had clients who are owners of small businesses that used to be going concerns but are now essentially worthless. However, the state insists that we prove it. So if your name is on a business, you'll be forced to go through a formal process of evaluating the value of that business, which can sometimes cost more than even the value of the business and of course leads to more delays. If you own real estate in another state or in Mexico, you're required to jump through some hoops to be able to still qualify for Medicaid in Texas. It is possible, but again, it causes more delays. I have another case where three appellate hearings now have been delayed because the agencies at the state of Texas have repeatedly failed to give each other proper notice about our appellate hearings. And the person who suffers the most, my client, is sick at home, desperately needing this care and he has watched his case just go on for months and months. So it's really important that you take the time to review your medical necessities with your doctor and your financial eligibility with a good elder law attorney. With hard work and planning, you may be able to receive your benefits sooner than expected. I'm Stephanie Townsend Ayala. Please keep watching the El Paso Elder Care Channel.